good afternoon. Sergeant you know CD here. Um, you caught me in the middle of building one of these things. Uh, I know uh, during the week I gave a little uh, insight on what I was going to do. I couldn't wait. Um, plus, I didn't want to bore you with all the hardware on the bottom. You know, it's kind of heavy, but um, I think it's, I just wanted to show different versions of this. But uh, my take on it is probably going to stay with this one. So, um, away. So, I watched a lot of videos on this. So everybody says that these are three fifty. Um, they're not, especially now. They're five dollars. But um, thing is, is they fit in my pack. So. If I could stack everything in here, put, put this in here and stack everything in here, it does fit. It fit before. I got something in the bottom there. But it does fit. So the idea is to stack everything in there. Now, a lot of people, and this is a, a couple of different designs. And I'm going to have a couple of them. They use conduit clamps, and they keep it stable that way. I think that would be pretty stable. Um, but I made it with stop nuts so you could turn them inside. So, again, it'll fit in my pack. The other thing I am trying out with this one, i got to tighten, finish tightening this one up. Is whoever invented Phillips that screw? I, I, I don't ever want to meet him. I hate him. Anyway, I took these. Um, basically, they're coupling nuts for threaded rods. Um, it's just a little nut. But put them on the bottom so I could take piece of, either a piece of thread or rod or a bolt, put them in there and get this higher up or not. This one's a little bent. I wanted to use the outside edges. So if this is sticking out of the bottom, I don't want it to poke into my pack. But figure out some way. Again, they would be on the outside. So you could poke this into the ground. And I'm going to try both ways today. But poke it into the ground and get more stability that way. Now, most likely you'd use threaded rod and not have the bolt. What I was doing is poking the bolt through, and I'd have to get some wing nuts to wing it through. So I already got this one like I showed you before, but that's not what really today is about. I mean, anybody can attach any type of, of, of hardware to the bottom just to get this off the ground. You know, that's what you want. You want a little, you want the air to get underneath, plus it's an accident. So, you know, you can put it on something, you can do whatever you want. But the important thing is, so, got my Stanley Cup, and then we're going to work on this, making this um, a fire, my fire kit. But all I've got is these little cotton rounds in here, and I've got my kit back there that we're going to take into what's left of Camp Chaos. Um, so, I do want to go over a little bit with the Stanley Cup. So I've talked, I've, I've looked at a lot of people, probably 30% of the people put this, uh, like a key ring on here, a split ring, um, just because that plastic, mine melted off, nobody's saying that theirs melted off, 
Um, that's either here nor there. Now, one guy, he was uh, talking about using this as take this off and then drill holes in here and mess with the integrity of the, the container and be able to put um, a wire coat hanger to hang it. Well, my take on that is just like another guy um, is why don't you just close it up and hang it by the ring. The other idea I was going to actually do is I could actually take wire around here and put two loops and do the same thing, um, grind this down to take it off, but I'm not going to do that. I don't need to. Overall, Stanley Cup is off. Now, this is 14 15 bucks. $14.97 Walmart. It's well worth it if anybody wants to buy that. My coffee my coffee uh, strainer I don't think I, I think I paid I think I paid uh, 20 bucks for it, $19.97 or whatever. Um, they're up to $25 now. So I keep mine in there. I keep my water kit in there. Um, some silverware along the side of it, but together, these will work very well inside of here, and you could either have hot coffee or, you know, make your or stew or whatever you want in there. doing this is because I did find smaller propane tanks. So I got one that's this big. I found a half size and then I can't find the quarter size and I'm pretty sure it's going to run out and I'm pretty sure I can find wood wherever I go. So um, like I said, all the designs on this, there's no wrong design on this. I bought a different one just in case I needed to lower the uh, input get input hole for the uh, fire for the uh, fuel, but I mean that gets skewers. All you got to do. I noticed on my preview on this it's kind of noisy, so I'm going to try not to be so noisy. I put them across, and then they want these want to turn, but once you get something on there. They don't turn. Now it's boiling some of the, the wax out of some candles. Um, so I put 91% extrap alcohol in here. And this cover is starting to blister. And I, I hope it's just the paint. But uh, it the flames are going all over the place. So this is probably not a good container for it. I need to build an alcohol burner, um, and that's probably next week's video. But uh, let me get to this. We're going to make, we're basically going to make some um, fire pre present fire discs with these cotton um, rounds. And we got to keep them in here, break them, hit them, burn them apart a little bit, hit them with a parasite rod. And keep this thing white. Now it's been snowing, raining for the last couple of days. Um, so I'm going to have a lot of wet, wet wood. And since I've been doing this, I've had very, very awesome luck with wet wood. Not. So I'm going to go ahead with this configuration. Um, one of the things I wanted to show you again. How, how versatile this thing is. See if I can get this on without making too much noise. I built a little wire cover. Uh, that's probably the front one. And I lost a little piece. So this 
is going to be very noisy. And that actually wasn't too hard. All I did was bend some coat hangers in three pieces. So they're all attached together. And woo, there's my door. And I could use this for an oven. Um, so what's cool about it is you can actually rotate it to have a lot of um, heat coming out the top or close it off close it off or just have that little hole coming out. So I've seen people bake all kinds of neat things in this um, this past week. So uh, I'm going to try to bake something today, I think. I don't know how it's going to work, but it stays on there. With this going into the ground, stabilizing it. You know, I've got it on the pad because this case is very, very loud on the camera. So I can basically use this to bake too. And these don't take up that much room either. Um, the other thing, if I get this off, without yeah, making too much noise. <clears throat> yeah, all they are is just coat hangers wired together. So the coat hangers wired together and they'll they'll fit in there, they'll fold up. Um, the other thing I made is just a little holder for it. So if you wanted to put like, you know, a pot. My goal is to have this self contained and be able to set it up and boil water basically. So let me pack all this up and get over to what's left of Camp Chaos. And um, I'll meet you back there. All right, I'm at my camp. Um, I've got to take a little bit of to set up. I've got to find some things that are missing. Um, but uh, it's very windy. It's a little cold. So this is a good test to see if we can get a fire going. Now, most of the wood here is wet. Um, so I did bring some wood with me. I hope, hopefully, this is just too noisy. Noisy, but camp chaos is, you know, kind of dormant for the winter. But uh, let's see if we can get this thing set up and ready to go. Anyway, now this pack's got some weight to it. Um, I've got to redesign it. I did put two canteens on the side. They are filled with water. Um, it's just it needs. I need to have more weight below. But regardless, we're going to set this up anyway. Um, I did want to test this pack to see how it felt. It feels okay if you stop waiting right. Anyway, I'll get to uh, I'll get to setting up this fire.
hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, there was just way too much wind. My mic um, with the windstock on it just was insufficient. You couldn't hear what I was saying. Um, so apologize for that. I think maybe I should have used the lapel mic out there, but hey, you know, I'm learning with this stuff. So anyway, overall, if you want a self-contained stove, um, you don't even have to do anything to it. You can just build a little ring underneath it, put some rocks underneath it, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, you should have some, some type of skewers or something to hold the pot up. You see, I had to hold this up a little bit. Um, Stanley cup fits right in there. It's awesome. I mean, this will fit in here too. This Stanley cup will fit in there too. So honestly, I have two stoves. Um, I haven't cut this one yet because I still want to do some experience, experiments with this, but having the feed hole this high really, really works for me, um, obviously. And this, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I think I did. This is like an Ozark Trail. It's like five bucks at Walmart. This, your Stanley Cup will fit right into that. And um, off camera, I finished these. So I have all these discs that I can use. All I got to do is break them and um, light them on fire, hit them with my parasite rod. So I could put more stuff in here if I wanted, but I just wanted to do a video where you can actually hear me um, and uh, let you know what happened with the audio. I throw some music in there that's uh, made for YouTube. Um, it's uh, not copyrighted, so hopefully I don't infringe on anything again. Seems like every time I put a music in there, I, I infringe, and I have to redo the video because I don't want any copyright infringers. I don't want to break any laws. Um, so thank you, family and friends. Thank you to all my subscribers and my viewers, everybody that watches this. Uh, um, like I said at the beginning, I'm going to go public on Facebook with this. Um, which will hit Instagram and um, so we'll see what happens from there um, God bless you, take care and I will catch you all on the flip side